What is up, my people? It's Marshall from Holix here. So as most of y'all know, I've been posting a lot of Among Us content recently, and it's because this is the main game I've been playing lately. And it's so crazy because this was made in 2018, and it just recently came out of nowhere and really blew up on YouTube. I mean, a few weeks ago, I was really just getting into Fall Guys, which also blew up recently. And then I started playing Among Us and I just haven't stopped playing since. So I think Among Us definitely stole some of the Fall Guys hype, but both games are still super popular and they're only going to get more popular because season two of Fall Guys is about to drop tomorrow, if y'all didn't know, and there will be more updates to Among Us in the future. So I'm assuming they're going to add new maps and things like that. So before we get into my pick between the two games of which one I enjoy the best, I want to know if you're team Among Us or team Fall Guys, so let me know in the comments below. Now without further ado, let's jump into the video. Real quick, before I start this heavyweight battle between two great games, I wanted to let y'all know that we're turning on our subscriber count shortly after this video goes live. And I'm really curious to know how many subscribers y'all think we have. So make sure you let me know. And there was also this person that commented that we have over 8 million subscribers and we are sub because our videos don't have enough views for 8 million. Now, I literally hadn't heard of this before and I asked him to explain. And essentially he said that he thinks that we're paying for bots to subscribe to our channel, but not to watch our videos. Yeah, I, I know that's weird and confusing, but I just had to share that story with y'all. But anyway, Jennifer and I wanted to say thank you because we're almost at 500 subscribers, which is halfway to our goal of 1000 subscribers. And y'all made that happen. So thank you so much to everyone in the first 500 club. We really appreciate you. And we hope to be creating videos for a long time. And we appreciate y'all being here early. Now, Among Us and Fall Guys are two different types of games, so this is something I kept in mind when comparing them both. Fall Guys is a battle royale game, and Among Us is like a multiplayer party game, so they obviously have very different vibes. So I'll be comparing the games on different factors such as accessibility, which is how easy it is to get it, the general appeal, like how many people want to actually play it, um, watchability, which how many people want to watch others play it, and then difficulty, and I'll finish with fun factor, because like I always say, if it isn't fun, will anyone even want to play it? So let's start with accessibility. Among Us is available on PC for $5, and it's free on mobile, and it's cross-platform now, so anyone can play together, and that is huge when it comes to the number of active players. Now Fall Guys is on PC and $20 for PS4, and it actually used to be free with PlayStation Plus, that's how I got Fall Guys, and that's cross-platform as well. But since more people have access to smartphones and it's free, this definitely gives the edge to Among Us, and it's probably why it was able to steal some of the gaming spotlight from Fall Guys so quickly. I mean, anyone with a smartphone can hop on and play with no barriers to entry because it's free. So let's talk about which one is better to watch. Now, both games are fun to watch, of course, and have large communities online, but, and this is a big but, this was probably the easiest category for me to choose between because I think Among Us is much better to watch, and it's really just because of the type of game it is. I mean, it's a murder mystery, so a bunch of people are working together to complete a goal without getting taken out by the imposter. Now, even if you watch the imposter's perspective, it can be even more fun because it's just two bad guys trying to blend in and be sneaky and stuff like that. So either way, it's super entertaining. And I've clicked on Among Us videos that were like 20 minutes long just to check it out. But then I ended up watching the whole thing because it was so entertaining trying to figure everything out. And Fall Guys is inter interesting to watch, don't get me wrong. And depending on the player, they may make it really entertaining. But to watch Among Us, I don't think the player has to be funny or entertaining or anything because the game already is. So Among Us takes the edge here by far. Now let's talk about their appeal because both games have massive, massive appeal, man. And I mean, literally anyone can play these games because they're so easy to pick up and play. And it takes a little bit to master them, of course, but 
anyone can do it. So young people, older people, it doesn't matter. And y'all might be surprised by this one, but I actually give Fall Guys the edge in this category. And it's for one reason. There is literally zero violence in this game. It's it's a game show where the worst thing that can happen is you falling in slime and then you restart and that's it. I mean, now you think about Among Us, you can get shot, stabbed, eaten, or at least I think you can get eaten. Y'all know that death I'm talking about where the guy sticks out his tongue and kills you and stuff. But And for this, it takes the appeal down just slightly because there are always plenty of people who don't want to see any violence or have their young children exposed to it. And that's completely understandable. And again, in Fall Guys, the only thing you can do to another player is grab them. And <laughs> that's it. So Fall Guys gets the point here. I did mention these games are easy to pick up, but they both definitely take time to master. And this brings me to the difficulty factor. Now, these games can be difficult, but difficult in their own ways because you encounter different challenges in each one. So let's start with Fall Guys. Now, Fall Guys can definitely get you upset, man. Like I've been heated so many times playing this and you may need to meditate after a Fall Guys match because it definitely provides a lot of uh, rage moments. But I think this is more so for experienced gamers because it doesn't require the same type of skill as other games or sometimes maybe no skill. So you think about a game like Ghost of Tsushima, for example, in Ghost, there's techniques and skills you use to beat the game. But in Fall Guys, there's a lot of goofy things that can make you lose that sometimes you just don't have any control over and it's just kind of weird sometimes, right? Now, Fall Guys does take a minute to get used to in terms of functionality and getting familiar with the maps and everything and objectives of each round. But I think the bi biggest difficulty factor in Fall Guys is the Battle Royale style. And there is only one winner out of 60 players. So you actually only have a small chance of winning the whole thing. And that's tough odds. And Fall Guys can be difficult to win. Now, the difficulty in Among Us has different levels to it as well. So first, there's which role you're playing. Did you get imposter or did you get crewmate? So your gameplay varies depending on that. And there's essentially two different play styles within the game. And then there's how you play. Are you using voice chat or text chat? And this definitely makes a difference. So voice chat, in my opinion, is 10 times better. I mean, you have far less people that quit in the match for one, and you actually have uh, more time to get details on uh, sus activity and other things that may have happened. In text chat, I think it's so easy and common to vote off fellow crewmates because you don't have enough time to write out full explanations of your whereabouts or that someone just lied and they type faster than you when they lied. So I think the main difficulty factor in Among Us is all the stuff you have to know as well. I mean, you have to know the map, where tasks are located. You have to know how to do the tasks themselves and how to explain what you were doing. And you need to remember everything you saw, like it's a legit who, what, where, and when in order to suss out the real imposters. And then after you have all that, basically, I mean, memorize, cause you have to memorize everything. You have to be a whole lawyer to plead your case. Now, I know all this varies based on the skill levels of the other players, but Among Us does have a lot going on in it, man. So because of all the multiple layers of difficulty within Among Us, I give Among Us the dub on this one. OK, so finally, what about fun factor? In terms of Fall Guys, let's start with them. It's definitely a fun game, and I am so excited to see what they drop in season two tomorrow. This game is hella goofy with the crazy costumes and all of the um, falling, you know, because they Fall guys. OK, so it definitely provides some laughs, but I will say it does give me a lot of rage moments. So I got to keep that in mind, too. But with Among Us, on the other hand, it's also really fun. And I think the party aspect of the game definitely gives it like an edge in terms of fun factor. I mean, I've had so many times where I was cracking up, whether it be from catching an imposter, killing someone and then they just badly lie about it or just hearing people's like shock reaction to being voted off or losing when they find out who the real imposter is. I mean, it's all just really a lot of fun and I've really been enjoying this game. Now, this may come as a surprise, but in the battle of Fall Guys versus Among Us, the winner is Among Us, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. But no, for real, to me, Among Us is the better game in terms of all the factors that I went over. But what do you think though? Am I wrong on this one? Did I choose the wrong game? Let me know in the comments below. And I do want to make a note that this may change if season two of Fall Guys really blows me away, y'all. 
Now, if you've made it to this part of the video, thank you so much and I really appreciate you watching. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a like. Also, be sure to let me know in the comments if you prefer Among Us or Fall Guys and let me know why. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on this. So Jen and I have some great Among Us and Fall Guys videos in the pipeline, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next one.